Hey everyone, Michelle Markey with Medina Domestic Arts Studio, and I bet you're wondering about now, what the heck do cat temptation treats have to do with coloring on fabric? Well, I'll tell you. You see this container, and it's this is the one that's 30 ounce, but there's also a 16 ounce. Well, I'll tell you something. They make the best pin box in the world. So once my cats have finished all of their treats, and gosh knows they go through a lot of them, um, I clean them out, peel off the labels, and now they're my pin storage boxes. Honestly, they're all over the house. They work great. And you know what? In effect, they're free. So um, just a little tip for storage there today. Now I'm working with a new brand of acrylic markers and it's one of those new brands, same as the old brand. And it's these Beat'em um, acrylic markers. Let me flip this over to the front. Um, my other cheap Chinese manufacturer seems to no longer have any available in certain sizes. So I'm testing these today to see how well they work on denim. Now, I mean, if you were to look at this pen, and by the way, I'm going to show you the white one right here. Interestingly enough, they look almost identical to the older manufacturer that I had. So my gut tongue tells me they all come from the same place. And each one of these is just a different distributor who has their own box cover. And, you know, so far I don't see any difference. So that does bring me to the little tip I want to talk to you all about today. So I'm, I'm coloring this Texas in. And you can see uh, these, these, and I'm testing these markers, by the way, just to make sure that they are the same. Um, I'm, I'm working on the white part of this, and I'm just going to zoom in here. And I want you to see, particularly around this edge here. Now, this is the problem with denim. I've mentioned this before in other videos, but I want to stress it again. You are never going to get everything colored over the first time. So what I'm going to suggest, as I do with everything, is you're going to put on a small, thin layer first, and then you're going to come back in and color over it and get... Uh, the second layer in. So let's do that right now. And you see when when I come back in and work with the grain, you know, I always say this and it may be kind of difficult, but try to work with the grain and just color and try to get as much of the color into the grain. And if you have to go against the grain, just push on the pin to really get that coverage in there. Um, I haven't gone over this with fabric medium. I'll probably be doing that next, but I just wanted to really kind of reiterate. Uh, the, the shirts were a big success at the Plano Quilt Show recently. Um, I am going to start to try to carry these on an ongoing basis, and hopefully for 2025, I can get some coloring on denim classes going. This is, by the way, the DTF. Again, these were also very successful. And I really want to continue making videos like this for all the people who have bought DTFs and plan to use them on denim. So that's it. Short and sweet. Um, just wanted to kind of give you, again, some more pointers on coloring it. You see how, and this is white. Um, that's that's why I, I, I wanted to do it is this is the white marker. And just notice um, I'm not going to get too close because I'm on film and I don't want to blow it. Um, but just notice I'm coming over it and how nice it's giving uh, that second coat. So just as you work with denim, you will come along after the fact and you'll think, oh my gosh, yeah, I just colored that. Why doesn't it look colored? It's because the paint has been absorbed by the denim and you just need to come back in and put another coat on. Now, I'm going to suggest that you're going to want to let each coat dry and then come back in after the fact and dry it. And by the way, doesn't that look good? The blue bonnet looks good. The, the navy looks good. And the red looks good. I may go over the red one more time. You can see there's a couple of places around the leaves. 
Um, I get kind of paranoid. I want to make sure that the outline stays crisp and doesn't get covered over with any of the coloring. And it looks like I did a pretty darn good job this time. So there you have it. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.